Today I'm going to demonstrate how to bend PVC conduit with a hot box. Hi, my name is Craig Bashad and I am the electrical instructor. Alright, so today we're going to talk about a hot box. How to bend PVC, how to use it. It's very simple. There's really not that much to, to learn. A lot of it is just you're going to get the experience as you start working in the field. Bending PVC pipe is very simple. A couple things you have to remember. You gotta always keep the conduit moving, okay? You don't want the conduit to just sit there and get hot because then you'll burn it, scorch it, and you don't want to do that. So, you know, today what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show a simple how to, how to use the hot box, how to bend a piece of three quarter, we're gonna use a piece of three quarter inch BBC conduit. We're gonna bend an offset. I'm gonna show you how we, how we just put it in place. And it's very simple. All you have to remember is, is the conduit's going to get hot, it's going to get pliable. One of the things that we want to make sure that we don't do is we don't want to impede the internal construction of the conduit, okay? We don't want to belly it, we don't want to make it flat, we don't, you know, we want to make sure it stays round because that's what the NBC code book tells us we need to do. So, let's get started. What do we have to do? Well, first things first is, we're using a half inch to two inch Greenlee hot box, okay? Um, they typically run about 400 bucks, so when you work for an electrical contractor or you're looking to buy one, you know, they're not cheap, okay? Um, you could do it with a heat gun, which we may do a demonstration with a heat gun further on down the line, maybe we'll do another video. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on how to use the hot box. We're just gonna bend an offset, okay? Um, one of the things you want to make sure is you want to make sure that it's got to be run on a 20 amp circuit. Okay, so that 20 amp circuit has to get going. You have to make sure the hot box is hot. Now you can see that I'm putting my hands on it. It's starting to warm up. It, it's getting pretty warm. Okay. One thing that you have to remember is, is there's a reason we have handles. Okay, you don't want to have to grab it. If you're wearing gloves, especially if you're outside doing underground PVC, you know, and you have it outside, you wear gloves, it's easier to open it up because, you know, the gloves will keep the keep you from burning. But basically all it is, is you basically have a heater on, you know, heater on the inside, okay? It's creating a lot of heat right now. Um, we have rollers, and these rollers are what's gonna help move the conduit. Okay, so we have our piece of three quarter inch conduit, okay? We're gonna place it in the hot box. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it in the hot box. We're gonna close the door. Okay. And you're going to want to make sure that you keep your PVC conduit on the wheels. Okay, you're going to want to make sure that you're you're rotating it and, and moving it constantly. Okay, because what you want to do is you want to, you want to evenly heat the plastic. Okay, because that's all it is. It's just evenly heating the plastic. Now, the nice thing with three-quarter inch conduit is is it's going to it's going to heat up pretty quickly. You know, if you have a larger piece of conduit, it's going to get a little heavier. But your best bet is to just kind of keep rotating it so that you can get it very, very pliable. Okay, and if I open it up, you can see how I can bend the conduit much easier than I could before. Okay, okay. we're just going to keep moving it. Keep moving it. Now, it is only a two-foot hot box. Okay, so this two-foot hot box you may have to, if you're making a larger offset, you may have to heat a little bit more of an area. So what I'm gonna tell you is something you need to remember. If you're using a two foot hot box, you're only gonna be heating about a 16 inch area. So if you're doing a larger offset, you may have to um, bend it in two um, tries, okay? Now you can see on the far end that the conduit is basically laying down on the ground. Okay, or my table in this case. What's happening is, is I'm making it very pliable. You see how I'm just rotating it and making it nice and pliable? That's all you need to do, okay? So what we're gonna do now is, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the conduit, and you can see how, you can see how easy it is to just lay it in place. because I want to make it a six inch offset or an offset going over a box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 
my box and I'm gonna set it in place and I'm gonna make sure, because as you touch it, it's very hot. You wanna make sure you don't burn yourself, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure it's, it's level, okay? So it's touching on the ground over here, it's touching, going over my box. And in this case, you can do a couple of things, okay? Uh, what I would typically recommend is you having a bucket of water and taking a rag and then just basically feeling the conduit with a rag. Now, I'm not using a rag today because, you know, it really doesn't need to, need to have a rag. If you're working out in the field and you're in a trench, especially during uh, the winter months, um, you could basically take the ground or the dirt and just rub the dirt on it with your glove and that's going to help cure the plastic back to normal because basically all we're trying to do is we're just trying to make an offset that will not, you know, that will conform to the ground or conform to an area wherever it may be, okay? If you do make a mistake, the nice thing with the PVC is you can just put it back in the hot box and heat it up. Remember, you don't want to touch the burner. The burner is hot. It'll scorch the pipe. Now, question. If I burn the pipe, does that mean I can't use it? Well, the answer is yes, you can use it. Have we put a piece of conduit in the hot box and burned it? Yes, we have. You have to remember that as long as it doesn't ruin the integrity of the conduit, you're okay. Okay, so now the conduit is, is complete. It's still a little warm, okay, but it's nice and solid. I can't squeeze it, can't move it around, you know, it's kind of one big piece. Now, are these perfect 30 degree bends? Are they perfect 45 degree bends? No, they're not. Here's the thing, with PVC conduit, you have to remember that it's more, it's easier to conform than anything else. One thing you have to remember about PVC conduit is it's gonna to conform to whatever you're going over. So something you have to remember when running conduit, you know, especially PVC when you're heating it, it's not gonna be perfect, okay? So as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. This is basically all you have to do to bend PVC conduit, okay? Throw it in a hot box. Now, you can use a hot box like this, okay? Again, this is a green leaf. Um, or you could use a heat gun where basically you're just gonna heat the conduit all the way around with a heat gun and you're gonna be able to bend the conduit. So again, a couple different variations. You know, 90s, you can do offsets, you can do saddles, you can do all kinds of stuff. The nice thing is, is you're using a hot box, you don't have to measure, you don't have to, basically all you have to do is heat it up and drop it in place. Now, this is a two foot hot box, you can use a four foot hot box. A four foot hot box is gonna give you, you know, good, almost three, three and a half feet of heated space that you can put that conduit in any different shape, size, whatever. Um, the, larger con the larger hot boxes go up to four inch, some of them even go up to six inch depending on uh, what type of heater you get. You know, like I said, this heater is about $400. You start getting into the four foot, you're looking at $1,000 or more. So, you know, a, a hot box is not cheap. So it's one thing you need to remember when you get on a job is you want to take care of your hot box. Okay, um, you know, make sure it's run on a 20 amp circuit. Some of the bigger hot boxes, you're gonna have to run 240, 230, 240 volt, depending on the situation um, or the location and the type of heater you're using. Um, I hope this gave you a great understanding on how to bend PVC conduit with using a hot box. Again, there's a few simple rules you just have to remember. Always keep the conduit moving. Um, don't let it sit, okay? Let it get pliable. Get it set, let the conduit cool itself down. Once it's cooled itself down, you're good to go, okay? I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please do me a favor, leave a comment below. And as always, my name is Craig Mashaw, the electrical instructor. Have a great day and be safe.